Hello. Hey, Tracy. Hey, 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 hey. It's going to be a little bit of a delay. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Sezzy Mocha Krabs. Hey. Y'all jumped on here fast. <laughs> y'all know I got to get my nerves together. I get I come in with my nerves on a million. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all. My heart is beating so fast. It always does. Hey, Lakeisha, you see I just sent you a message. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> oh, Lord. I get so nervous. Um, Here's the goal. You know, I'm always going to start with a goal. Today, this is the goal. Hey, Sarah from North Florida. Hey. <laughs> Lakeisha is real. I wish I could. Hey, Miss Victoria. Hey, so this is the goal. And um, hey, Dimps, I'm trying to do better. Hey, from New Zealand, Fujinin, Liverpool. I hope I said it right. I know I didn't. I'm sure I didn't. Hey, Tony, hopefully y'all saw the goal. Maybe I need to, hey, Patricia, I need to start like letting this scroll down the bottom like a little ticker or something. Hey, Ruggie, hey, Yvette. Is it Yvette or Yvette? Ontario, Canada. Have we been to Ontario? We've been we've been to Ontario for a short time. Yvette, I think your name your um autocorrect changes my name to Demons all the time. And the funny thing is, that's my brother's name. <laughs> hey Sharon. Hi Deborah. Hey Precious. I thought you look, I thought you were doing um wedding stuff i didn't think you would be here hey pamela hey pam neely hey from fort myers maria hey cheryl okay so we've seen the goal y'all know if you know me you know i like to start on time so we can get in here and then do the things and get on out of here hey twins who mary who is my middle name okay hey from manitoba well thank you Thank you all so much and welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the like button on your way in. If you forgot to take care of that, go back out, click the like and come on back in. I'm going to be right here waiting for you. Hi, Janice. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Tony. Hi, Inez. Hey, Cats and Crafts. Okay. Everybody. Did I say here? Yvette. Thank you, Yvette, for telling me that. Thank you. Did I say hi to Janice? I hope I did. I hope I did. All right. Hey, I'm Wanda from the campground. That's the closest we're going to get right here. Bam. Hey, Cheryl. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with materials. So I've already, you know, it said, and I listed the materials below the video. So everything that I reference here is also listed below the video. Okay. Every single thing that I'm going to use, I promise you is list. Hey, Linda is listed below the video. Hey, Michelle. Um, so all the materials are there now. Um, the materials we are using acrylic blanks. When you are thinking about the acrylic, the acrylic blanks to use, remember that I would not go over two millimeters in thickness. Okay, so I have a variety of acrylic blanks. Now, I didn't now let me say this, I already turned myself into a liar. Um I have a variety of acrylic blanks because my name is Delanda and I am an over shopper. I shop a lot. Okay. I wish I didn't, but I do. And I am not in denial about it. I'm not in therapy for it. And I, I don't want to be, I shop a lot. So, Hey Rhonda, um, I shop a lot. Hey Darlene. So let me show you some of the acrylic blanks and I'm going to show you that they all have the same thickness. And I'm, the reason why I'm honing in on the importance of the thickness is if you get an acrylic blank that's too thick, you won't be able to engrave even if you use your Cricut Maker. OK, so this is the two millimeter thickness. OK, hi. Hey, Sharon. So two millimeters in thickness. So when you're purchasing your acrylic blank from Amazon or for wherever you purchase it from, 
please know that the acrylic blanks that I'm using are two millimeters. So this is a like that's one example, and you can get them in a variety of shapes. You saw, hopefully, you saw in the. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not trying to stop, Lakeisha. I'm not even going to say it anymore. I'm going because that would be a lie. You know, it would just be a lie. This is another example. You could get like a circle shape. You could get a you know a square shape. You could get a smaller circle. You could get a you know hexagon. That's a hexagon. It's a hexagon, right? So it's just variety. There are a variety of shapes. This is one that's like a star. It just depends on what you want to do with it. Now, the reason why I'm um, specifying the two millimeter thickness is because I've bought the wrong thickness before and it's just now sitting there for decoration. Now, I, I have an idea of what I can do with it, but I haven't used them um, because the thick they were too thick to do engraving. Um, so when you're purchasing yours, make sure that you get the right thickness. OK, two millimeters is I would not say go beyond two millimeters. OK, and I will put some links below for these that I purchased. But the reason why I didn't is because I don't want you to be like me. I don't want you to be an over shopper and I don't want you to be like, well, Delonda put those links down there. So I just bought all of them. I don't want you to do that. I want you to buy the ones that you need. OK, so don't don't do like I did. Be better than me. OK. Hey, hey, craftable thing. OK, now let me see. She said I'm trying to remember what you said, Patrice. Trying to. Yes, y'all hit the like button now. Patrice, tell me what you said I need to do. My name is Ton Ton. You are Yarnaholic. OK, so just different blanks, you guys. Patrice, you told me what to do. I don't see that option. I don't know how to do what you said, Patrice. I don't know how to do what you said. Oh, my name. Thank you, Yvette. I appreciate that. Click. You already have them, Lakeisha? <laughs> I did, but when I do that, when I did that, it, I have two options to put you in timeout. <laughs> Ain't the one or block you. And I don't want to do either one of those. I think I would have had to do it in settings. Three dots to the right. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Put user in timeout or block user. I think I would have. Uh, Miss Lisa. Hey, Janet. I'm an over shopper. Hey, Tamika. I have to do it from YouTube. Okay, hold on. Yeah, y'all are. Hey, Tamika. Y'all, I, I have slowed down a little bit, just a little bit. I'm trying to do better and I'm trying to make sure that um, I spend, not spend, but use the stuff that I've been getting in those mystery boxes. That's been my goal. So, I mean, I'm buying all these mystery boxes and yes, the cuties are cute, but I need to cool it. Okay. So like really cool it, Delanda. And that's what I'm working on. Um, let me do this one thing right quick, you guys, because I'm not putting your time out. Oh, Miss Lisa, I bought these. Now, oh, let me show y'all because I'm going to show y'all something right quick. I bought them at... Um, Patrice, now I'm in YouTube. Audience link. Manage. Patrice, now what? Uh, permissions? Defaults? Patrice. I don't know. Comments go over to my name. Okay. Close. Okay, you guys. One second, one second, one second. Oh, bam. I think I did it. You can't call. I did it. I, th I did it. I'm sure I did it. I did it, Patrice. I think it's there. It should be working. Okay. Hey, Kimmy. 
So now remember I said the, the, the two millimeter blanks, that's what's important. So if you look at the difference between this one and let's just say this one, see the thickness? This is a four millimeter acrylic blank and I bought the wrong one. So this is one that I said I bought it and now I can't, I couldn't engrave on it because it's too thick to go through the machine. So y'all see the difference? Say yes. Let me know that you see the difference. See how thin this is. You did, Miss Lisa? Okay, you would love a mystery box. Oh, I'm sorry, fool. Yes, I'm sorry. I, and you know what? The people in the UK can't get them. And, you know, I have a lot of friends in um, the Netherlands and they can't get them. And that, that makes me sad. Okay, so... That's important. It, the acrylic blanks. You'll also need a purple strong grip mat. I did put a link below for the last tutorial. I use the HTV Ront brand because really when you get a purple strong grip mat, I have found that the brand, it doesn't really matter. The Cricut brand works well. Yes, but so does this. And Nakapa mats work well also, and they're a little bit cheaper. So I just took a chance on these and I like it. It keeps my um, blanks on the on the mat. I bought. I I'm using this Chomas tip. There's a precision tip. This is the one that I'm using. Is the precision tip. There's also one that is a little bit more. I would say like broad. The tip of it is broad, um, and that one I'm sure works fine. I haven't tried that one. I've only tried this one, and this is the oh. one that's linked down below. Okay. All right. So in addition to that, um, you could do this same exact process with, you know, if you wanted to do keychains. So last night, the tutorial that I released yesterday was doing this process on keychains. And I've often been asked, well, Delonda, when you do your engraving, oh, you'll need a lint roller too. Okay. You need a lint roller and you'll also need tape, masking tape. Now I've been using this one. But this is a little more, you know, just regular masking tape. But I've been using this because I have more of it. Um, let, I've, I've often been asked, can you color in your engraving? And, I, you know, for a while, I've always said, I don't know. I'm not sure. Try this. Try that. Hi, Mary. And um, I because it was because I had never tried it. Well, yesterday, um, I went to the store and I bought some of these. They're called Painters. And they're basically just paint pens. And I bought the fine point pens and I did color in it. Now, I can tell you, you got the Easter one that came out yesterday. I did too, Mary. I jump on them as soon as I see it. Um, I bought the fine point pen. I'm going to show you the one that I colored for the keychains. Now, my kids laughed at me because they were like, hey, Nicole. They laughed because they were like, uh, no, ma'am. Now, I am true to myself and I'm be true to you. I'm not good at painting. I'm not good at using a paintbrush. I'm not good at using a paint pen. But I said I would try it and I'm not afraid to show you how it came out. So I did an, an engraved keychain like this. And yes, this looks like Milo, right? So I did this in my tutorial yesterday. And I feel like it came out pretty good. I mean, to be to have done this on the Cricut Explorer Air 2, I was pretty impressed. And actually, hey, Dems, thank you. Are these the directions the same with the maker? The only difference, uh, and I, when I get into Cricut Design Space, um, Lisa, that's a great question. She said, "Is the are the directions the same? The only difference is you're not going to change your, you're going to change your uh, file type to foil when you're using the engraving tool. OK. Hey, Nor, can you engrave with a different color? I'm going to show you how to get the color. So this is what I did before I colored. Right. And then I said, well, let me just do another one and then color it in and show you what it looks like. You can't be late. Can't be late, Risa. Whenever you give your time, you are on time to anything. Right. You're giving your time to something. You're on time. OK, there's that. OK, so um, this is what this one looks like. So now I told you I colored it in and my hand, I'm not good at painting, but I'm not, I'm not embarrassed. I mean, I really don't embarrass very easily. So there's that. 
um, this is what it looked like when I colored it in. And I just used the, and I'm putting the black paper behind it so you can see it. But I just used the white and the black um, paint pen and I just colored it in. You see that? So, I mean, it. I feel like if my girls would have done it, it probably would have looked a lot better because I'm not very good at it. Hey, Clarissa. But this is, I mean, if you have a steady hand and you're good at painting, then I would say you probably would do a great job. Now, and I'll also say this, this is a fine tip. If you're going to do something that has an intricate cut, you might use an extra fine tip. So this is a fine tip. Right. So it's still a little bit thick, but it dried fast. It dried in less than a minute and it's on there. I mean, it's on there very, very well. So this is the I painted it on the engraved side. So there's nothing. I was painting it backwards like I was, you know, on the on the reverse side. But there's that. So if you want to try engraving and then adding color, then I suggest these because it's acrylic paint. It looks good to you, Donna. Okay. Well, thank you, Linda. Alcohol, it, it might work. I haven't tried that. This is the only, you know, these are the only ones I've tried. So, and I, I think it's a good, I mean, it's a good option. It did add color. Okay. All right. Y'all ready to get started? We got our materials. So you got the mat, the blanks, masking tape, you got the tip and the lint roller. All right. So really this one doesn't take that many um, tools. Okay. All right, how y'all feeling? Y'all got me a moderator because I'm not good. <laughs> you want to try color? Okay, Nora, bring it. I will bring it so you can try it. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm just not good at it. But y'all ready to get in the Cricut Design Space and make sure it's up and working because it was doing the least earlier. You know, sometimes people do the most. Sometimes Cricut Design Space does the least. Like, what are you doing? You don't want to open. When using the paint pens, tap it on paper, towel for less paint. Yeah, um, but these were brand new, so I had to let it sit on the paper so the ink would start to flow. Yes, I got it. And Dimps, look, let me, how, how do I add you to? I need to add you, Dimps, because you moderator extraordinaire, honey. <laughs> All right, so y'all got the materials. We got 80 watching. I hope we got 80 likes or even more than that. All right. All right, Cricket Design. Look at you, Cricket Design Space, trying to be great. Okay. Okay. So let me say this. Let me say this. When I go through the directions, it, I promise you, if you follow these directions like to the T, you can't miss. You won't, you won't miss. Last night, someone commented on, and you know how we are. Oh, I'm going to add her. You are the moderator extraordinaire. You need a queen and a crown and a title and everything. You don't even need to have a pageant. So you just be the, be the one. <laughs> um, I take it to heart. I read every comment. I, I, I read every comment. I respond to every comment. It matters to me whether or not you can do this project. Anything that I put out, it matters to me because at my core, I'm a teacher. So if someone finds something that I do confusing, then I'm going to try to clear it up. That's just, it matters to me. So that's why I'm doing this live because somebody said in one of the comments that this was confusing to them and I had to like talk to Peter. I was like, somebody said they were confused. And he was like, well, how many people said they were confused? And you know, like, it was like two people said they were confused. And it just, it just, I had to just like hold that. And I said, well, Peter, I'm gonna have to do it live because I don't want anybody to be confused. If my goal is to do a tutorial and teach, and then somebody is not able to grasp it, then I want to do it again. Okay. That, so I want you to know that that matters to me. So in the tutorial, one thing I said, thank you. Thank you all. I really appreciate that. 
I got some heavy hitters in here. Oh, uh, Dems, I'm going to add you in two seconds because look, I got to do that real quick. Um, one thing I said in the tutorial is it's important to open Cricut Design Space first. If you open Cricut Design Space first and then, then go to upload the file, you won't go wrong. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to go to share. I'm going to share screen. And I'm going to go to a Chrome tab. Um, let me grab a Chrome tab. And all right. Let me go here and click share screen. Let me see what y'all are seeing. Okay, you see a Chrome tab. So I've already copied that link and I have Cricut Design Space open. The first thing I said to do was open Cricut Design Space. So I opened it and now I'm opening the file. So I'm going to click enter and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when you click enter or what it should look like. Now, I've only done this. Do you see it's open? It's opening. That's the file, right? So I'm going to click I agree to Cricut terms of use and I'm going to click open in app because I already have the app and it's already open. If you don't open the app first, it's going to ask you to download the app even though you already have the app, download it, right? Thank you, Dimps. So I'm going to open it and let Cricut Design Space make up his mind about what it's going to do, okay? I'm going to close this out because now I look like I have Cricut Design Space open twice. All right, let me close out one of them. Yes, I want to quit. Okay, so now I already have it. And this still says my daughter's name. I don't know what y'all seeing. Y'all are not seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Hold on. It's like catching up. Hey, Crafty Puerto Rican. Let me... um. Stop screen and then share again because you weren't seeing what I was seeing. Okay, so this still says my daughter's name because remember I purchased these machines for my I purchased purchased this for my daughter and they they were just like eh I don't want it right so I'm going to go to um, my projects and I already have the fill so I'm not going to download it again because I already have it downloaded but my thing for you to remember. Thank you, Tamika. Um, my thing for you to remember is that you want to open Cricut Design Space, Cricut Design Space before you um, I'm click customize before you download the fill pattern. The fill pattern is linked below this video. Another question I got was, is the engraving fill free? Yes. Is the engraving field mine? No, it is inspired by a content creator by the name of Kay Hall. Hey, hey, Jackie. And um, she shared the file and I haven't found the file in the community tab. So every time I want to use it, I will first I save it. So what my suggestion is, once you download it, then re save it to whatever you want to save it as. I saved it as engraving fill pattern. You can save it as whatever you choose to save it as. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Y'all, y'all good. Hey, Sherry. Okay. Let me go to, um, let me go and add dimps right quick because that will just be, y'all just don't know. You just don't know. You just don't know. Because you know what? I miss questions. I miss comments. I miss so much stuff when I'm um, when I'm on here live. And um, I don't want to do that. So uh, Dimps and Patrice will help me with that, y'all. I need help. And I'm not in denial. My name is Delanda and I need help. Okay, so here's the engraving field. I already have it saved. So now the next step is save the field, whatever. Then I'm just bring the view down on my screen. Right now, the view on my screen is at 100%. I want to bring it down to right at 75%. After I do that, 
I'm going to upload the file that I want to use. Now, let's just say I want to use this one. I like that file. But really, you could use any file, right? You could go in Cricut Design Space and find something that really speaks to you. But I saw this one last night and I just, I loved it. So this is the file that I'm using. This file came from Design Bundles within the uh, Plus membership, okay? And it just says, be real, not perfect. And I love it. I, I love it. All right, so now I brought the file in. That was step six okay so now that i have this file i can look over here in my layers panel and i can see that this is a layered file how do i know it's a layered file because i see these layers right so i don't want this to be a layered file i want this to be one file that i'm just going to keep together so i'm going to weld it okay so now it's a welded file and if it wasn't welded you can use a picture, but your picture would already have to be an SVG. And that was a good question, Nora. Okay, so I have the file welded and now I'm going to just bring it down just a little bit. Okay, just just a little bit because I want to be able to fit this on top of this. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. OK, and I don't, I don't there's not a specific size. I didn't say, well, you have to bring it down to. No, it's just whatever size that will work. OK, yes, that's right. Can you to get a slice? OK, so I'm bringing it down a little more. The step step seven was to weld it. We've done that. Step eight is to take the engraving fill and rotate it by 30 degrees. Someone asked today in the comments, why do you rotate it by 30 degrees? Because well, I don't know if you can tell or not, but let me bring the view back up on my screen. I'm bringing it back up to 100% because I want to show you something. If the right now you can't tell, but this is just a whole bunch of lines. See that? These are just lines. It's a whole bunch of lines that have been put together. Something's getting ready to pop up on my screen. I'm going to close it out. Um, hold on. It's taking a long time. Okay, so I don't, I don't need it. You know, I'm bringing it back down. And I'm going back down to five point five by seven. You have a little eighty seven one likes. Okay, y'all see what Darlene said now. Darlene said, get the likes to match the uh the views hey dawn okay so i'm bringing the view back down but i wanted y'all to see that that's just really a collection of lines okay so i'm going back to back to where that was back to being 5.5 5 by 7 5 5 by 7 okay so now i'm going to take this engraving fill and if in, in case you're taking notes or you're going to you know try to follow this process and you want to remember it this is step eight that I'm on. Step eight is to rotate the fill by 30 degrees. So I'm going to go up here to rotate. I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees. I'm just right here at the top of my screen where I'm hovering with my, with my mouse. I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees. I'm going to hit enter. The reason why I'm rotating this by 30 degrees is because I want to get a nice, good uh, fill for this when I get ready to do my engraving. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to take this file that I welded and I'm going to put it on top of my rotated fill pattern. Okay. So that's step nine. Now I'm going to take both of these. I'm going to select both of these. I have two things selected. I have my file and I have my fill pattern. Remember, slice only works if you have two things selected at one time, right? So now that I have two, two layers selected, I can click slice. I'm going to click slice. Okay. Good, Dimps. Okay, it's going to take a minute because Cricut is like, what? What do you want me to do? Okay. So now I'm going to move this out. It's sliced out. 
and I'm going to start to move these pieces out that I don't need. So this is just like debris, right? I don't need this. And there's another layer right here. There's another layer right here. So I can start to look at these layers and see, I don't know why it's crazy like that. I can start to look at these layers and see which one I like. Let me bring the view down to 75%. I should have three layers. Let me move this. Okay, I have one here and I have one here. So it looks like I just have two layers. That's fine. So now I can look at these and I can say, mm, which one do I like the best? Which one is a, oh, I didn't multiply by 10, but let me show you something. So I can look at these and say, oh, which one is the best? Which one do I like the most? I can make this bigger and see if my cut, you know, is clean. Do I like it? Did I get a good, you know, image right here? I can look at this one. I can, you know, make it bigger and see if I, you know, really like it. Let's see. To me, both of these already look great, but you're right. I want to show you, Risa. You did not miss that part. I missed that part. Okay, so let me go back. I'm going to go to undo, undo. But remember how this looks and let's see if it makes a difference. The reason why you multiply by 10 is because sometimes the cuts will not be as nice if you don't. Do I weld the image with the circle or without? Without, without the circle. You're going to weld without the circle. We're not there yet. I'm still going back. I'm going back to before I had a sliced image. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still going back, back, back. If you have the Cricut Maker, all of this is still the same. If I was using my Maker, I would be following this same process. I'll show you when it gets to Oh, you don't do this if you're using the maker. I'm still going back. My computer is moving a little bit slow. Okay. So now I'm back. To, oh, no, not yet. Not yet. I still have slice stuff. Okay, now I'm back. Okay, so now I'm back to which was step seven. I mean, step eight, rotate the fill. Put the design on top of the fill. Select both and multiply it by 10. So this is at 5.385. So 5.3 times 10 would be 53, right? So I'm just going to change the width to 53. You'll see it's going to get big. Let me bring my view down a little bit so you can see. See those lines? Let's see if we get a good slice and if it makes a difference. It's thinking about it is thinking about it hey educated natural is thinking about it let's see if the slice looks better this way or better the sec the other way that looks good too that still looks really good look at that that's still a good image what do y'all think that looks good let's look at this one let me bring it. Let me move this out. And this now this is very light. So if I was, you know, this is at the part you try with a picture. It was horrible. Can you do via trying to do a picture? I would have to make a picture into an SVG, but that's a that's something to think about. <laughs> okay, so now let me say this. When you get to this point you will have to decide which one of these is the best or boldest image. To me, this one is very light, so I wouldn't use this one. I would delete this one. High strength from within. You don't know what's going on. Uh oh, Nicole, that's not good. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me look at these two. Let me bring that one down. You like the one at the top? One thing I'll note right here, when I did not multiply it by 10. Now you see, I don't have that debris, those little pieces that were trash. I don't have that. But when I look at these two images, 
I think the top one is the boldest. What do y'all think? Yay, nay, nay, yay. The top one or the bottom? Top, Clarissa. Okay. I like the top one too. Okay. Top. Okay. Is anybody confused and they need me to explain anything again? Anybody like Delonda Al, you lost me. You confused, Lakeisha? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to just start again. I'm going to go to my projects. We, are, you, we understand the engraving field? We understand that part? Do we understand the engraving field? Because I'm not using my maker, Miss Victoria, I'm using the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Let me show y'all something. Let me stop sharing for one second. If I don't use the engraving fill and I just want to do just regular engraving with this tip on my Cricut Explore Air 2, if I do not use the engraving fill, think about that word, those two words, engraving fill. This is what my design will look like. Okay, this is what it'll look like. With the engraving fill, this is what it looks like. Do you see the difference? Okay, Nicole. So this is no engraving fill. This is with an engraving fill. Do you see the difference? You see the difference? Yes. Okay. I don't want y'all to be confused. I promise I don't. I promise I don't. It'll make me sad. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Okay. So the reason why I'm using an engraving fill is because I want mine to be filled in. I don't want it to be an outline. Yes, this will still show up and I'll show you what that looks like. Let me show you what it looks like both ways. And both ways look nice. I'm not taking anything away from it, but let me show you. So here's the light base, right? And the, this is what it looks like. This still looks nice. This looks nice. I'm, I'm not taking anything away from this. This looks fantastic right but when i use the engraving fill this is what it looks like okay so i prefer it's on a thin acrylic it's on a two millimeter acrylic so i prefer the bolder look and the only way to get a bolder look is with an engraving fill unless yes Yes, Patrice. Thank you. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. The only way to get a filled in look is to use the engraving fill unless, you know, you want to take your markers or your paint pens and then color this in. But I'm not good enough to do that. OK, so that's why I'm showing you the engraving fill. The reason why I multiply by 10 is because it gives a cleaner, bolder look. 
when I did it without multiplying by 10, sometimes you'll get extra lines in your image. Sometimes it just doesn't turn out right. It depends on the file. I'm doing it again from the beginning, Barb. I'm doing it again. I'm starting again. The first thing I said to do was gather your materials. The second thing after gathering your materials is open Cricut Design Space. Okay. First, your materials. Second, open Cricut Design Space. Third, download the engraving field. That's, that's where we are. Okay. So now I've already gathered my materials. I've already opened Cricut Design Space. Okay. I've already downloaded the engraving field. Okay. I'm going back to Cricut Design Space. Thank you, Strength From Within. Okay. And I don't want y'all to be confused. I promise. I really want you to get it. I, and I think you can. I believe in you. Okay. So this is the engraving field. This is what makes my image bold. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'll, you know, go with this file again. And I'm going to add it to my canvas. When the image come in, when this image comes in, I'm gonna bring my view down. When this image comes in, it's it's not one image; it's a layered cut file, right? And I don't want it to be a layered cut file. I want it to be one image. So I'm going to click on it, and I am going to weld it. Now I have a basic cut, and it's just one welded image. Shirley, that's an engraving tool for the Cricut Explore Air 2. So this tutorial is really for those of you who have a Cricut Explore Air 2. If you want to do this with the Cricut Maker, you don't, you wouldn't use the same tool. You'll use, thank you, Tony. You will be using your engraving tip, the one that looks like this. So if you're using your Cricut Maker, then you will be using your engraving tip, your number 41. This engraving tool that I showed is if you want to do engraving with the Cricut Explore Air 2. Okay, I can do that. I'm going, I'm going to undo it, Tony. Well, no, I won't undo it. I'll upload it again. Good question. Let me bring my view down. So let's look at this one, Tony. Is that Tony who asked? Okay. So this is a layered file because I can see, you know, layers. Right? So if I, let's just say I change the color of this to purple. I can see that, you know, this has layers. This one is not layered anymore. Okay, does that make sense? So because this is a layered file, I could change the colors of this. I could say I want one part to be, you know, light blue. I want, you know, these hearts to be red. And I want, you know, be real to be per uh, purple. Okay, so this is layered. This is welded. So it's not layered anymore. Okay, so I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. All right, so now I have the file that I'm going to use is welded. That is step seven is to weld. Step eight is to take the engraving fill. This is the engraving fill. And I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees. Do you want me to show you what would happen if I don't rotate it? Because it, it just doesn't look as nice. Sometimes you'll get extra lines and it just it doesn't look as nice. I don't want to do that because that'll confuse people. Let me just rotate it by 30 degrees. And I want you all to rotate it by 30 degrees too. So I'm going to click on the file. I'm going to rotate it by 30 degrees. I'm up here in the top panel. I'm going to hit enter. Okay. And it rotated. Now I'm going to bring this file, my welded file down so that it'll fit right here on top of my engraving field. This is step nine. I'm bringing the file down. I'm going to put it on top. Okay. It's still too big. So let me bring it down a little bit more. It fits. Let me just make sure, bring it down a little more. Okay, so I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to select both 
these two things, this and this. I'm going to select both of them at the same time. I can just hover over both and select them. And then I will multiply this width, multiply the width by 10. The reason why I'm multiplying the width by 10 is because I want those lines to be a little bit more separated and that will help me get a nice, bold, clean slice. That's the purpose of it. So if, you know, multiplying is the issue, you're just going up by 10. So think of it as five times 10, five times 10 is 50. So I'm just changing the width to 50. I'm not doing anything to the height. I'm just only changing the width. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to get big. And then I will click slice. Is anybody confused yet? I'm still waiting for my machine to slice this. How are y'all feeling? I would definitely say this is not a beginner's. <laughs> this is more intermediate. Thank you, Lakeisha. Yes, my heart is happy. My heart is happy. My heart is happy. Thank you, Dimps. Thank you, Patrice. Thank you. What does weld mean? It takes the whole, it, ta it changes your file to basically to an image. You lost, Miss Lisa? What part are you lost on? What part are you lost on? I'm going to wait for your response. Okay, so now that I have it sliced, hey, Tampa Barbecue Queens, you got it, Nora. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Miss Lisa, I'm so sorry. that I'm, I'm very, very sorry. So now let me just bring the view down. The only reason I bring the view down on my canvas is because I like to be able to see everything on the canvas. Miss Lisa, if you downloaded the field, you are on the right track. Yes. Okay, Noor. So I'm bringing it down to 25%. And I'm going to start to move these slices out and look at them and see which one is the boldest and the cleanest file. Okay. And, you know, I'm just going to look at them. So I, I should have three images to choose from. And now I'm finished with the engraving field, right? I don't need that anymore because I've already, I've already used it, right? So I can take that. I can just kind of turn it off, right? Because I don't need it. And then I can look at these files and see which one I like the best. So I'm going to click on this second one and kind of just bring it down and, you know. And then I'll click on this third one and see which one I like the best. All right. So then, you know, I can make a decision right here. Now on this, you know, it's going to be up to you to decide which one you like the best, which one is the cleanest, which one you think is going to give you the most bold effect. Okay. Thank you, Nicole. You can't download the field. Beverly, did you open Cricut Design Space first? You have to open Cricut Design Space first. That's the first step after you gather your materials. Okay. So now I'm looking at these. What do y'all think? Which one do y'all think is the boldest and best? I definitely don't think it's this one. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. Y'all think this one? I like this one. Okay, open Cricut Design Space and then go to, op, uh, to download the field next. And you have to agree to Cricut's terms and all of that and then click open in the app. You think top right? All right. So I'm going to delete this one then and we'll go with this one. Okay. So now that I have the, the file, the one that I'm going to use and y'all said or somebody said it's good. Remember, I'm using thin acrylics, right? My acrylic is thin. I'm going to use this one this time, and it's a long rectangular shape. 
And so I need to measure this, right? To make sure that my design will fit on there nicely. So I'm gonna stop sharing for one second and I'm going to measure this, right? So I'm gonna look at it and say, okay, okay. It's right at five inches across and it's about hmm, seven inches down. So this is five by seven. Y'all can, y'all can. Five by, it's about five by seven, right? So when I make my template in Cricut Design Space, I know that it needs to be, you know, no bigger than five by seven, but going five by seven would actually be too big because I don't want my design to go all the way from end to end. I want it to be in the middle, right? So when I go back to Cricut Design Space, I'm going back in, right? I'm going to make a template that will fit nicely with, my file. So I'm going to go to shapes and I'm going to grab a rectangle. This one has rounded corners, but it doesn't matter because it, it, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to, you know, resize. Well, first I'm going to rotate it just so it'll be the same size, you know, the same going in the same direction as mine. And then I will resize it. So the about seven okay so now i'm going to take my file that i just created and this part is not it really doesn't matter because this is going into the light base i'm going to take my my template and change it from a basic cut to a pen okay Change my five, my template from a basic cut to a pin. All right. So now we are on. This is step 13. I'll review the steps before we finish. And don't let me forget. Um, I think that was Tony. Don't let me or Miss Lisa. Was it Miss Lisa? Don't let me forget to review the steps. OK, so I'm going to resize. So now I have my template. I change it from a basic cut to a pin. The reason why I changed the template from a basic cut to a pin is because this will make will help me to know where to place my template on the mat. If I don't do this and I try to just engrave without doing this part, I'll have to try to figure out where is the exact right spot to put the, the acrylic on the mat. And I don't want to do that. So right here, I'm also tricking my machine into thinking into thinking that I'm going to be using a pen to go around this when really I'm not. I'm not going to be using a pen at all. And you'll see. OK, so now I'm going to take my file. Let me go. Let me bring my view up. OK, so I have my template and I have my file. And I'm going to bring this file down to make sure it looks nice on my template. Let me send my arrange it and send it to the back. And I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this on top and see. I can make this a little bit longer. I might use a smaller, um, cause that's a lot of wasted space. I might use a smaller blank. Cause that's a lot of wasted space. I think I'm gonna use this one instead. Still five. Okay. How y'all feeling? Not five by seven, I had it locked. Oh, okay. It's okay because I'm using I'm actually gonna use this one, Risa. And this this one is five by five by five. So let me see this one. Okay. And I'll put this on here and make sure it's going to look decent. That's still a little bit too big. I would definitely say be careful about placement because you don't want to get too close to the edge. And, you know, because everything is going to be taped down. 
So now I have the file and I'm going to use this smaller square acrylic. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'll show it to you when I stop sharing. And what I'm going to do now is change this from a basic cut to a fine foil. So I'm, I have my file selected. I'm going to click over here on operation. I'm going to go to foil. Let's look at the different options. Let me let me show you what the different ones will look like with this file. Okay. So right now I, I just brought my view back up so we can get a good look at it. If I go to foil and I go to bold, let's see how it will look. Now to me, it doesn't look nice because I see these like extra lines and it just doesn't look, it doesn't look nice to me. It, it doesn't look clean. Can y'all tell that? Hey, Heather. Or do you need me to make it bigger? Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you see those like, almost like a swoosh. No, if you're using a maker, you would just choose engrave and you wouldn't even have to worry about this. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I don't like this one. It's not clean to me. Let me look at foil medium. Foil medium looks cleaner to me. That's my opinion. But let me look at foil fine. Ooh, foil fine. I don't like it. So for this, I'm actually going to choose foil medium. For this, when I did this one, I chose foil fine and it looked nice. But for this file, I'm going to go with foil medium. I think that looks the best. Okay, so hopefully you understand why I chose that, that foil. So now I'm going to put my file and really I should have saved this by now. Let me click save and save this as, um, let me save it as uh, be real acrylic. And you can save yours as whatever you want to save it as. Okay. Just in case Cricut Design Space starts doing the most. If you have the maker, have a maker and they were trying to get but now watching. Thank you. Hey, Charnette. Okay. So now I'm going to just center it. I'm going to click both of these. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to align and center. Okay. And it moved it down and that's where it wants it to go. And I'm fine with that. All right. So now I have it centered. Do y'all think it looks nice? Think I should make it? You think I should do anything else to it? Okay, thank you, Tony. Okay, so I'm going to select both again and I'm going to attach. Okay, so now my Cricut Explore Air 2 is going to think that I'm going to foil this and that it's going to go around this with a pen. Okay. So now I'm finished. I'm, I've done everything. I have my template. I have my file. It's thinking it's getting ready to foil and all of that, right? So I'm going to click make it. Okay. So now I'm on the prepare screen, right? And now that I'm on the prepare screen, I have two operations over here. I have pen and I have medium foil. I'm gonna move this down right here to the one and one axis, just right over here to the one and one. And that means when I get to my mat, when I get ready to put my blank on my mat, I'm also gonna move it to the what? To the one and one, because whatever I do here should match on here, right? Okay, thank you, Patricia. All right. Thank you, Melissa. Y'all, I, I hope y'all are getting this. I hope you are. I promise I'm going to review the steps before we finish because I don't want any of you to leave here confused. Okay. So now I have that. Stay with me. I am going to mirror this 
because I'm actually going to do the engraving on the back of the acrylic. Yes, Heather, it should match. Okay, so now I'm going to click continue. Okay, it's saying, please wait. Bah, 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 bah. My machine better be connected and it better be doing the right thing. Let me check myself. Look at it thinking. Okay, good. Very good. It's going to ask me to set the base material. I chose craft board. Just worked well for me. So that's what I went with. When you have your machine set to custom, I think it's on custom, it's always going to give you the option to browse all materials. I keep my Cricut Explore Air 2 at um, custom so I get to choose the materials and I don't make a mistake. So I'm going to go to browse all materials and I just chose the one that says craft board and then I click, I'm going to click done. Now it's telling me custom materials set to craft board. Load black pen and clamp A, load foil transfer in uh, medium tip and clamp B. It's going to tell me to load my mat. So now I'm going to get my, let me get my um, weeding tool. Now this, let me stop sharing for one second and show y'all something. This has plastic on both sides. Sometimes when you buy acrylics, you can't tell that there's plastic on both sides because it looks clear. But I promise you, each time you purchase an acrylic, there's plastic on one side or both sides. So it makes sense. Thank you, Dawn. It makes sense to remove the plastic. I'm only going to remove the plastic from one side, the side that I'm doing my engraving on. Okay. So I'm going to just Take my little weeding tool and remove the plastic. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on my mat in the exact same spot that I had it in my prepare screen. So I'm going to look at my mat. Remember, I moved it down to the one and one axis. So I'm going to do that here. And I'm going to, let me see. Now, remember, the side that still has the plastic on it, that's what's on the mat. The side that doesn't have the plastic, that's what's face up. That's what's facing me. Okay, so the, the side that has the plastic is on the mat, okay? Because acrylic is not an option for the Explore Air 2. Remember, I'm, I'm doing this with my Cricut Explore Air 2. Acrylic is an option for the maker. I'm not doing this on my maker. I'm doing this on the Cricut Explore Air 2, but that's a great question, Dart. Okay, so now I have it on there. And then let me turn my camera on on the other side. And let's see. And I'm going to show you everything else from over there, how I get it taped down and all of that. I'm going to open my machine. Move it back a little bit. We'll actually close it and get this tape down. So hopefully y'all can see that. Perfect. Hopefully y'all can hear me too. So I'm going to use my tape. I'm going to tape it down. And I'm going to tape it close to the edge, right? Because I don't want to make take the risk of the engraving. Uh oh, that doesn't look like it's straight. I want to get it in the exact same spot that I had it in my prepare screen. So that it comes out right. Now I can tape it down here because nothing is. I'm not in jeopardy of, hopefully y'all can hear me. Okay, thank you. Y'all know I taught my first class on Creative Fabrica too. I did a class on um, engraving with the maker. 
That was exciting. It was different because you have to do your videos in segments, and I'm not used to doing it like that. So if you have a maker and you are a member of Creative Fabrica, you can watch that tutorial. Okay, so I have it taped down, right? And it matches where I had it in on the prepare screen in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna open this up. And you see my star wheels. I have two star wheels over here and I have two that are under here. They're out of the way, okay? So I'm gonna get that Choma's tip. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I don't know what the sound is like. Can y'all hear me good? Okay, yay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Choma's tip. Let me y'all can see that. And I'm going to insert it in clamp B. Now, let me say this. I put a little, we're going to call it budget friendly. I put a rubber band right here at the top just so this Choma's tip doesn't go too far down. Um, I'm sure there's a, a higher end way of doing it, but we have black rubber bands here, so that's what I use. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. I put that in. I'm going to put in clamp B, close clamp B. Nothing is in clamp A. Nothing. Okay. Star wheels moved over. This is in clamp B. I'm going to load it, load my mat into the machine, click the flashing arrows. I always go back and double check that this matches what I selected in Cricut Design Space. So let me come back. I'm going to check Cricut Design Space again just to make sure just to make sure that what I'm saying I'm going to do is what I'm doing. All right, so let me look at my mat. Do I have my mat in the same place? I mean, my image in the same place. Yes, it looks like I do. Okay, I'm going to hide that. Okay, click done. And I'm ready. I'm going to click that flashing C. I'm going to click the flashing C. Move this back a little bit more, just gonna face up. It's gonna get a little bit noisy. So it's gonna look for a pin. So it's like it's thinking that it's going around it with the pin. And then it's gonna the flashing C is gonna happen again because now it's gonna look for that fine foil tip. I'm gonna click the flashing C. So now what I typically do when this is doing what it's doing, I start cleaning up my mess. So now I'm putting my tape back and all the stuff back that I don't need anymore. Putting my weeding tool back. Thank you, Dimps. You probably could use a rubber washer, uh, Mavali. Did I clean my acrylic? No, I didn't. Thank you, Shirley. I love that ruler tape too, even though I don't really use the ruler part that much. You see how loud it is? But I think, now to me, this is faster than the maker. The only thing different you would do if you were using the maker is that you wouldn't change your operation type to foil, you would change it to engrave. Let me go up and make sure I didn't miss anybody. I didn't clean the acrylic. I never have. I probably should. Yeah, clean the acrylic. All right. Thank you, everybody. Okay. I hope I cleared things up. Let me start to go through some of those processes. Step one is gather your materials. Somebody can somebody type that in. Number one, gather materials. So in case y'all want to watch it back, you'll have it. Step two, open Cricut Design Space. Oh, if you go on um, Creative Fabrica's website and go to classes and then scroll to Cricut, you'll see me. I only have one class there. I'm going to do another one. I promised them two classes So, because I was so nervous. So nervous. Number one, gather materials. Number two, 
Open Cricut Design Space. That's step two. Step two is Open Cricut Design Space. Step three, download the engraving fill. The engraving fill is linked below this video. And I will also pin it to the top. It'll be the first comment. You'll see it. Step three is to um, download the engraving field, but you have to open Cricut Design Space first. That's where most people get lost. Anybody else? Step three, download the engraving field. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Okay, there's Dimps. I would say yes, Crafty Puerto Rican, because even... Let me find, okay, so like, I did this with the maker. You probably can't even tell the difference. I did this with the Cricut maker. And I used the engraving fill. Remember, if you don't use the engraving fill, your image won't be filled in. So that's why I do it. Remember, this is no fill. This is fill. No engraving fill. This is engraving fill. But you can still, I mean, you can do it without it if you don't want yours to be filled in. Okay? Totally 100% up to you. I just wanted mine to be bold. All right. So step four is to save the field. Save the engraving field as something you'll remember it by. You might just call it engraving field. You might just call it my stuff, whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sheila. All right. Then I, I bring my view down. I just bring my view down. I have that as a step, but you don't have to include that as a step. The only reason I do that is because I like to see everything on my canvas when I'm working in Cricut Design Space. Thank you, Louise. Thank you so much. Okay, so now you bring the view down. That's what I do. Then you upload the file you're going to use. Now, if you're using a file that's already in Cricut Design Space, you're not really uploading it. You're just going to be adding it to your canvas, right? Hey, good night. Thank you, Dimps. Save it as something you'll remember. Then whatever your file is, if it's a layered file, remember I went through how to tell the difference between a layered file and one that's not layered. If your file is layered, I have an engraved leather. Have I engraved leather? No, I haven't. But I would try it with this. I would try it. I might try it. Um, weld it. Weld the file if it's layered. Yes. Dems is helping y'all. Whatever your file is, you're going to weld it. Then, so now you should have two things on your canvas. You're going to have your engraving field and whatever your file is. Then you're going to rotate the engraving field by 30 degrees. Rotate the engraving field is the next step. Let me see how we... The engraving field is free and is linked below this video. Y'all, this is looking so good. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, after you do that, you're going to put your file on top of the engraving fill. Whatever your file is, if you were making this, you would put it on top of the engraving fill. You're welcome, Darth. Put the file on top of the fill. I'm going to try saying that fast 72 times. I can't. Okay, then after you do that, you're going to multiply the width by 10. Now, let me show y'all. So like this on this one right here, I did not um, multiply the width by 10 and I didn't, um, I actually didn't even rotate it. 
But if you look at this one, you'll see that this line right here, it looks like it's supposed to be there, but it's not. I don't know if you can see that. See that line going from the S to the heart? This line right here. That happens when you um, don't rotate and don't multiply by 10. You'll get extra lines. Let me see. I have another one. Oh, this one. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell. Because it still looks nice, but oh I'm not good at this. You can't you can't see it. I know you can't see it. But there are extra lines in here. I know you can't under above the Z. There's an extra line going from like ridiculously to amazing. There's an extra line in there. See that? Y'all probably can't see it. Yes, select both objects and multiply by 10. Yes. Yes. Select both objects, multiply by 10. Then um, slice. After you multiply by 10, slice, and it's going to be big. Like, it's going to be a whole big thing. If you're confused about that part, GM Stovall, don't do it. If you're confused about the multiply by 10, just don't do that part. You'll still get a decent image. I did not do it here. I didn't do it. And I just got extra lines. And I'm just trying to help you avoid getting these extra lines. I know y'all like you. I know you see it, Miss Victoria, because I think we're in the same. You want it to be perfect, you know. But like, there's these this extra line right here that happened because I didn't multiply by ten, not ten percent, just ten. So if the if the width is five, five times ten is fifty. If the width is seven, seven times ten is seventy. If the width is two, two times ten is twenty. Whatever the width is, multiply by ten. Yes, then you slice. After you slice, then you're going to start to remove those sliced pieces out, and then you're going to decide which one looks the best, which one looks the boldest. We're at 75% on the um, transfer. To me, it's faster. We're going to remove your slices. you like, which one, you know, which one do I like? You're going to have, you're going to end up with three images. You're going to look at them and see which one is the boldest, the darkest, the best. And then you're going to grab a template that met, grab a shape to create a template. So I grabbed a square. Hi, Lisa. Right. So I grabbed a square because I'm using a um, little square right there. But if I was doing a rectangle, then I would get a rectangle in Cricut Design Space. And then I would move my. OK, so grab a shape. And then you're going to put your image, you know, grab a shape in Cricut Design Space. And then you're going to move your image to the to the template that you create. And, you know, like center it and make sure it's in there really good. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Strength from within. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You just made my day. Yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I don't want y'all to be confused. Oh my gosh, that'll make me so sad. Okay, after you do that, you're going to decide, okay, oh, I like this one. And then, like I said, you're going to grab a shape. Yes, don't, you got it right. So you're going to grab a shape from within Cricut Design Space, whatever matches. So if you have a heart, you're going to grab a heart. If you have a circle, you're going to grab a circle. You're going to just create a template in Cricut Design Space. And then whatever image you made your file, right, whatever image you have, whatever file you used, you're going to resize it to fit in your template, whatever template you have. Mine is a square. Okay. Then, let me see. Resize it. 
then you're going to change your template whatever template you have you're going to change your template to a pin remember doing that lets you know where to put it on the mat change your template to a pin okay and then you're going to change your file to foil and then you have to decide you know if you want foil bold foil medium or foil fine for this project tonight i changed mine to foil medium the only thing good question um i hope i said your name right Mavali. the only thing different when you're using a maker is that you don't use the foil you're doing you're going to choose engrave because you their maker was made to engrave remember the cricket explorer air 2 wasn't created to engrave thank you thank you so so much i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you Okay, let me see where we are. And then I'm going to come back to those steps. Oh, we are at 100%. It's getting ready to stop, y'all. Oh, it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got that. We changed the template to a pen. Change your file type to foil. I'm turning the page because y'all told y'all how I prepare for y'all. I write it all down. Now, let me also say this. Let me say this. I do it different every time. Okay, so you're gonna, uh, once you have it in the center of whatever your template is, you're going to align it, you're gonna center it, and you're going to attach it. So you're going to attach your foil, which was your design, to the template. Right? You're attaching the foil to the template. Thank you. Let me see what Shren said. Grab the shape, move it to the template. Yes, change the template to a pen. Strength from within. I'm hugging you super tight. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Let me take this thing off the thing so we can see if the thing doing the thing. Oh my gosh. Y'all making me work hard. She works hard for the money. Okay. So hard for you, honey. All right. So I'm going to remove it. You see it did a little bit of cutting on the tape. But it still did what it was supposed to do. It looks really, really good. I can tell you that. So I'm going to remove it from the, and you can see. Can you see that? Can you see that? OMG. Okay, so let me um, remove that. Let me, y'all. Uh, strength from within is giving y'all the directions. Now look, see it, right? So now I'm going to remove this from the mat. Now I can, you know, go over it with my lint roller here, right? And the lint roller is doing what? Getting all the debris off. Right? Look at that. Lint roller did the work. So I'm going to take this. So it still looks blue because the other blue, the blue is on the other side. Ooh. And I'm going to get my little weeding tool and remove this other, you know, the other side of the acrylic so y'all can see. And I'm going to plug this up so y'all can see it really, really good. But can y'all see that? Thank you, Marvely. Doesn't that look nice? 
The Explore Air 2 did that. Man, what? 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 So now, let me go over it one more time with my lint roller. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Barb. So I'm going to go over it one more time to get some more of that um, debris. Thank you, Louise. Thank y'all. Yes. So now it's clean, clean, right? See that? And I can put it in my little... See how beautiful that is? It's amazing, right? It's amazing, right? And I like these light bases because they change colors. So it's going like purple. It's going to go to pink and then, you know, all the colors, right? And that's it. <laughs> I want to say hush your mouth and keep talking. <laughs> so you don't have to have a maker. You can do this with uh, Explore Air 2. Okay. And if you got confused on the steps, where uh, mirror the design, insert the Choma's tip, tape it down, click the flashing C. Now, I did do a full tutorial on this Monday. And then I did keychains Tuesday. And now we're here Wednesday. And guess what I'm going to do tomorrow? Rest. <laughs> Rest, honey. We will be resting. Okay. So what? tell me what questions you have. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Make content on it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Noor. Thank you, Marilyn. Okay. Thank you. I'm saying thank you. She said LOL. Okay, but you got it, right? All right. What questions do you have? Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, works hard for the money. So hard for you, honey. Y'all had me working tonight. Y'all had me working tonight, honey. Now, let me say this. If I wanted to color this in, right, I can, right? I can color these hearts. I hope I don't mess it up because y'all, I'm not good at this. I am not good at painting. So with these paint pens, what'd you say? Okay. Okay. Um, with these paint pens, you just shake them up and then, you know, use a piece of paper and let the ink start to come down. So I use this one. I guess I just got the paint to start coming down. So if I wanted to color this in, now this tip don't fit on the end. If I was going to color this in, and I will just for y'all, I would color in on the engraved side, not on this side. I would color it in on the engraved side. Okay. I would color this in on it. And I have a tutorial on how to engrave with the maker. I'll leave a link to that below. Now, when I did this, with the maker, I did not rotate it. I didn't rotate and I didn't multiply by 10. And uh, you know, when you know better, you do better. Mm, but Miss Victoria, you really don't have to use this one with the maker. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I would not do this tip with my maker. I wouldn't. And let me also say this. The only reason I'm doing this with my Explore Air 2 is because my Explore Air 2 is no longer under warranty. If yours is still under warranty, you are taking a risk that anything could go wrong. I had to take that risk anyway because mine is not under warranty. So I wasn't going to be losing anything because if, if I call them, they'd be like, oh, what, what date did you purchase? Okay, well, ma'am, we, we're going to give you the links to purchase a new one okay ma'am <laughs> so <laughs> thank you tony rest bull rest yes <laughs> uh no no marvelly tomorrow rest tomorrow rest honey. 
tomorrow is rest. <laughs> so my suggestion, my advice is not to use this with the maker. Now, you, when we get out here, you can do whatever you want to do. You're a grown woman, right? But for the maker, I suggest using the tip that was created for the Cricut maker. Go find me. You, you know, Cricut, look, look, we're not doing it. Yeah, you already have the right tip. I would not. I personally would use the, if I was going to do this project with the Cricut maker, I would only use the engraving tip that is made for the Cricut maker. I personally would not use my, that Choma's tip with my maker. I wouldn't because you don't have to. This one is already good enough, right? It's just um, not as pointy. Let me compare it. Let me see. It's just not as pointy. So this is the Choma's tip. And remember with the Choma's tip, one is um, the Cricut warranty is one year. The Choma's tip, um, there are two options. So there's one that it's almost like this. It's just not as pointy as the one for the maker and it's longer. See how that's longer. See the difference. When you did you open Cricut Design Space first, you have to select open Cricut Design Space first. Yes, Miss Victoria works just fine. OK, so personal preference. Did y'all want me to color it in? Y'all want me to color it in? The heart? I wish these would fit on here because I don't like that. I'm going to color it in. Even though I didn't hear from y'all. Oh, this looks good. This looks good, y'all, with this colored in heart. And you'll see, you'll be able to see how quick these dry. I did not, they have these in oil base. I didn't get the oil base. I just got the, um, oh my gosh. Let me show y'all in a minute. Woo, this looks so good, y'all. You see that? That's nice. I like it. I like that. I like it. 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 Look at that. Yeah, so now I could have colored better. I see where I didn't color well, but it's an option. And the acrylic dries very fast. So, man, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Will it show on the light? It's on the light, yeah. I don't know if it's changing color like the other one is, like the rest of it is, but... If you're doing these on keychains, then yeah, you don't. I don't know if that heart is changing. The heart is just staying the same color. So options. So um, I would definitely suggest getting the fine tip or the extra fine. So this is the fine tip. That's what I have linked below. So I suggest fine or extra fine. Thank you, Theodore. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you, Dawn. Okay, so we good? How y'all feel? I hope I didn't confuse anybody. If the multiplying by 10 confuses you, don't multiply by 10. You'll still end up with a good result. You just might end up with some extra lines. If rotating it confusing confuses you, don't rotate it. You might try rub and buff. That's a good option too. Thank you, Crafty Puerto Rican. Okay, so if any of that part confuses you, then don't do it. Just put the image on top of the engraving field and slice it and then choose one that you like. Change it to foil. Thank you. To me. Now, Tamika, I'm going to sleep real good tonight. 
I'm telling you, I had to, Peter was like, why are you worried about it? Why do you care so much? Because I care so much. Because if my goal is to teach and somebody did not learn, then I didn't teach. I, I accept responsibility for my work. So that's how I feel. I'm not going to say, well, they didn't get it. It's on them. No, if you didn't get it, it's on me. I did not go slow enough. I did not repeat enough. I didn't show it well enough. So that's why I, I came on here live to do it tonight, to show it to you in person, in real time, to give you time to ask questions because it matters to me. Thank you, Patricia. Okay. Thank you, Corey. So hopefully you can go back and you know follow the steps. We have all the steps. And if you can't get it here, um, thank you, uh, Aunt Wanda. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. You're a beginner. This is this might not be Sheikha Shay. This might not be a beginner project. This might not be. This might not be. Thank you. Thank you, Tamika. Okay. So let's go back to the goal because I want to make sure we accomplish the goal. Um, but I did do a full tutorial. I did do a full tutorial. Did we accomplish the goal? Did we accomplish the goal? Learn how to engrave acrylic with the Cricut Explore Air 2. Did we accomplish the goal? Thank you, Kimmy. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hopefully we accomplish the goal because this is the finished product and I love the red. I love the red. I love the red. I didn't know I would love this as much as I do. I might have to put this in my office. Yes, I told you she's the uh, moderator extraordinaire. Yes, thank you. Thank you, honey. She said we understood the assignment. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, thank you, Dems. Thank you times a billion. Thank you. And y'all, Dems has a page too. Dems has a YouTube channel. Go and oh, go on over there and follow Dim. She has a YouTube channel, and so does Patrice at Craftable Things. Okay, y'all go on. Uh-uh, <laughs> Sayah. <-yop. laughs> You're gonna get an example tonight. <laughs> Vocabulary. <laughs> Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Let me, you know, I'm going to end the way I end. I do, Tracy. I do. I do. Um, thank you for giving me your time tonight. I do not take that lightly. When somebody gives you their time, that's the same thing, the same value as their treasure. So that's why I want to always end with thank you because you're giving me something that money can't buy. And your, your, what you're giving me is your time. And I appreciate it. And I don't take it lightly. And I don't want to ever, ever waste your time. I want you to feel like you gained some knowledge, that you got something valuable, and that you can go and do this yourself. That is what I take as a compliment. People think they can, you know, you sometimes y'all think that you compliment me by saying that I'm good at something. What I take as a compliment is when you walk away with knowledge or when you walk away knowing that you can do this too. That is what I take as a compliment. I don't want anybody to ever leave time with me being more confused than when they started. Okay. Cause that would, that would bother me. Okay. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate you very much. And until next time, y'all take good care. Okay.